echinococcosis, parasitic disease caused by the larval stage of the tapeworm echinococcus. There are three forms of echinococcus that affect humans, echinococcus granulosus, echinococcus multilocularis, and echinococcus vogali, and each has a different geographic distribution and tends to cause a different pattern of disease. Echinococcus granulosis is common in areas where livestock is raised in association with dogs, in Australia and New Zealand, Argentina and Chile, Africa, Europe, the Middle East, and the Mediterranean region, especially Lebanon and Greece, and causes unilocular cysts. Echinococcus multilocularis is found in alpine, subarctic, or arctic regions, including Canada, the United States, and Central and Northern Europe and Asia, and causes multilocular lung disease known as alveolar hydatid disease, AHD. Echinococcus vogali is found only in Central and South America and causes polycystic hydatid disease. Although many infections are acquired during childhood, clinical signs of echinococcosis may not appear for years, except when cysts are in vital organs. Symptoms and signs may resemble those of a space-occupying tumor. Liver cysts may eventually cause abdominal pain or a palpable mass. Jaundice may occur if the bile duct is obstructed. Rupture into the bile duct, peritoneal cavity, or lung may cause fever, urticaria, or a serious anaphylactic reaction. Pulmonary cysts can rupture, causing cough, chest pain, and hemoptysis. Although many infections are acquired during childhood, clinical signs of echinococcosis may not appear for years, except when cysts are in vital organs. Symptoms and signs may resemble those of a space-occupying tumor. Liver cysts may eventually cause abdominal pain or a palpable mass. Jaundice may occur if the bile duct is obstructed. Rupture into the bile duct, peritoneal cavity, or lung may cause fever, urticaria, or a serious anaphylactic reaction. Pulmonary cysts can rupture, causing cough, chest pain, and hemoptysis. CT, MRI, and ultrasound findings of the abdomen can be pathognomonic for cystic echinococcosis in the liver if daughter cysts and hydatid sand, protoscolases and debris are present, but simple hydatid cysts may be difficult to differentiate from benign cysts, abscesses, or benign or malignant tumors. The presence of hydatid sand, scolases pass into the cyst fluid and form a white sediment, in aspirated cyst fluid is diagnostic. World Health Organization criteria use imaging results to categorize cysts as active, transitional, or inactive. Pulmonary involvement may present as round or irregular pulmonary masses on chest X-ray. Alveolar echinococcosis typically presents as an invasive mass. Serologic tests, enzyme immunoassay, indirect hemagglutination assay, are sensitive in detecting infection, which can be confirmed by demonstrating echinococcal antigens using immunodiffusion or immunoblot assays. Complete blood count may detect eosinophilia. Treatment varies depending on the infecting echinococcus species, and the location, size, and imaging characteristics of the cysts, and may include surgery, or cyst aspiration, installation of a scolicidal agent, and re-aspiration, and prolonged treatment with albendazole. Treatment varies depending on the infecting echinococcus species, and the location, size, and imaging characteristics of the cysts, and may include surgery, or cyst aspiration, installation of a scolicidal agent, and re-aspiration, and prolonged treatment with albendazole.